Hey YouTube! So today we're gonna be having a look at Blue Screens of Death. It sounds very horrific and it actually kind of is because when it happens your PC always crashes. Now first of all I want to explain to you exactly what a blue screen is. Basically it's your Windows telling you that something went wrong and it went wrong so bad that Windows can't keep on functioning and it will crash down. And in most cases it will give you a restart of your computer and if you're very unlucky, it will even block your computer from starting up again. Now, what I want to do with this video is show to all of you guys out there, even if you're not into ICT or you're not very tech minded or something like that, how you can still solve your own blue screens because it's actually not that hard. Now you have certain types of blue screens. For example, you have the ones that just happen when you are working and your screen flashes blue. It restarts and that's it. And then you have the slightly more annoying ones where you actually try to start up your computer but it won't and it will just crash on a blue screen and keep on going in a loop to keep restarting and restarting and you can't get in your windows anymore. Now in this video we're just gonna cover the first part. That means that your computer is still starting up but you're experiencing blue screens. And if you want the guide on how to fix it if your computer is not starting up anymore, I'm gonna make a separate video about that and I'll be posting it in the description as soon as it's finished or you can just subscribe to my channel to make sure that you get it as soon as it's out. Now, first of all, you'll need a small piece of software for this and that piece of software is called Who Crashed. This is a small free program that you can download off the internet. I will put a link in the description for you. And this is what we're gonna be using to analyze the blue screen that we got on our computer. In 80% of the cases, Windows will leave a mini dump file on your computer if you get a blue screen. And Windows will be putting that file in the C Windows mini dump folder. As you see, I have two mini dump files here. They're not from my computer, but I got them from my work. They are just examples and I wanna be showing you what you can do with those. Now you can just leave those files there, you don't need to touch them. But after you installed Who Crashed, you're gonna open the program and you're gonna see that you can press here the analyze button. Now what this will do is it will go and look for files in the mini dump folder in your windows and it will analyze what they are about or basically the content of them so that you can go on and look for a solution for your problem. So we're gonna hit the analyze button right here and it will scan them and it says please scroll down for the information. So we're gonna be doing that and you can scroll all the way down to the crash dump analysis. Now, these are the descriptions that I will be getting from my mini dumps. So the first one was on the 8th of July 2019 and the second one is a very old one. We're gonna get into that later. So let's start with the first one. Now it will basically give you a description of what happened on your computer. So first of all, this is the file in my case that caused my blue screen. Now this is of course not very useful because you don't really know what this is. So you can actually go and check the bug check description and this will tell you a little bit more about what happened. But then again, it's not all very clear, especially if you're not so tech-minded. So what you really wanna do is just click this file. And what the program will do is just launch a Google search, I'm gonna show you, on this file. Now, you can scroll around here a bit in your Google searches and quickly you'll find already what this file is about. Now, I don't even have to go look inside these websites because I can already see that clearly it is a semantic issue, this file. So my semantic, which is my antivirus, will be the problem in this case. Yet if you want, you can click on and go look for more information and you'll see here the situation, you experienced the blue screen, blah, blah, blah. And you can basically read all that and do as they tell you to do. But in my case, I'm gonna just keep it very simple. If I know that Symantec is my problem, I'm simply going to delete my Symantec and reinstall it again, because there's some file in there that's clearly causing this. So that's what I need to do to solve my problem. Now, this is a very easy one. This is a piece of software that actually caused my blue screen. It can get a little bit more complicated. So let's have a look at the second one. Now, in the second case, you can see that it's this file here that caused my blue screen, which is my NDIS driver. Now, I know what that is, and I can actually see already in the description what that is. It's my network driver interface specification. So clearly, we're gonna have to look at something network related here. So we can go and read on a little bit, and it says this indicates that a kernel mode driver attempted to access a pageable memory at the process. This all sounds very high tech, but you know, basically, you need to just think a little bit logic here, you know? If your network driver is the problem, 
then what you're gonna do is try to reinstall all your network drivers. So if you have Wi-Fi, you're just gonna reinstall your Wi-Fi driver. And if you're working with a network cable, then you're just gonna reinstall the driver for the network port. Now it's not very hard to reinstall the drivers yourself. First of all, what I wanna recommend to you guys is don't use a program that claims it can update all your drivers automatically. Most of those things, and I cannot stress this enough, are viruses or spyware. Don't get that stuff on your computer because it will just do more damage. So just install them manually yourself. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's very easy. You're gonna open the internet and you're gonna go on a Google page and make a search for the brand of your computer, which usually you can find on the bottom of your computer or even somewhere near your keyboard, and you're gonna type it in the bar. Now, in my case, it's a Lenovo T540P. And after you type that, you can just add simply drivers. I already had it here because I already made a search earlier. So there you go. Now, when you come on the support page of your laptop, which is usually the first hit, do make sure that this website is about your brand. You know, if it says here something else than uh, Lenovo or HP or Dell or whatever computer you're using, it's probably not the good site to be on. So make sure you're on the good site. Now this is in Dutch for me, so to make it easy, I'm gonna put this in English for you guys. And what I'm looking for is my network driver. So as you see here, I have my networking LAN driver and my wireless driver, and both of them I wanna be updating just to be sure that I get the right one for my blue screen. Now, sometimes you'll have more than one under here because it is possible that in your computer you have two different types. Just download both of them if you're not sure and try to install them both because one of them will surely give you an error that you do not have this device in your computer and the right one will just go on with the installation. So in my case it would be the Intel driver and for my wireless it would be the Sierra wireless driver. Now I need to download them both, I need to install them and my problem would be solved. So that's how easy it actually is to manually update your driver. Also, if you go to these websites, you always have the latest version of your driver available. Now, as you did that, you're gonna wanna restart your computer and normally that should be it. So normally you shouldn't have any blue screens anymore. Now I do wanna mention here, guys, that Windows does not always leave a mini dump on your computer. So if it doesn't have enough time and it's just crashing, then it can't put the dump anymore in the folder where you need it. So it needs just, you know, like, a split second after your blue screen to have enough performance and to have enough resources to go and put that file in your windows so if you didn't get it you were just basically unlucky and you may have to wait it out until your next crash however if you're lucky you won't have a crash at all anymore because in a lot of cases a blue screen only happens once so that's it for now guys i really hope this helped you if it did then do me a favor and hit the like and the subscribe button i will be posting a lot more videos i have a great video about how to drastically boost your windows 10 speed but how to drastically boost your chrome speed and i'll be posting a lot more videos so be sure to check out my channel have a great day and i'll see you in the next video